In this video, I am going to explain the difference between the static and the dynamic resistance of a diode. Okay, now we know very well real diode cannot be ideal because what are the ideal conditions? The ideal diode having a zero resistance when forward bias, but a real diode does not have a perfect. The ideal diode having zero resistance when forward bias and uh, infinite resistance when reverse biased. Infinite resistance mean perfect insulator when reverse biased, but a diode never behaves like this. Also, a real diode never offer zero resistance, mean perfect conductor when forward biased. This again a limitation. Okay, now we are going to explain in a figure below, and uh, we are choosing a silicon diode. The diode is forward biased. Okay, and uh, DC uh, battery is applied. And with that DC battery, the resistance which we find will, will we will find will be the static resistance, okay? Because it is a DC conditions. And what is the definition of the resistance? Very simple: voltage divided by the current. Let any at any particular point the voltage is 1.5. And current at that point is 25 milliampere. Then it is very simple to find the dynamic resistance. Let for example here. This is this is a graph between voltage and current. Voltage along x-axis, current along the y-axis. So this is the characteristic curve. Now the slope of the line will show the conductance because slope is. Current divided by the voltage. The slope is, uh, you know, like here the slope is equal to zero. That means no conductance. Here the slope starts increasing. Like the slope is this one. Less slope mean uh, less conductance. Then here it is uh, more slope. Conductance increases. Now here it is still the slope is increased mean more conductance so what we learn as we are going from this point to above along the curve the conductance is increasing and the resistance is decreasing so if we are, if we are finding a resistance at here it will be different at here it will be different at here it will be different so finding the resistance, we to tell the particular point where we are finding. So we are here the finding at this point. At this point is the, which you take the ratio. So resistance is 1.5 volt over current at particular voltage. So this is uh, the ratio. Resistance comes out 60 ohm, but keeping in mind it has a particular diode voltage which is 1.5 volt. So specific, uh, so the resistance, static resistance is for particular DC voltage. DC resistance will vary with the point omega is okay. I already explained. In addition to, if the AC conditions are there, if the AC signal is applied in addition to DC, then we to define the dynamic resistance. Dynamic comes for the changing voltages in currents. So we are finding dynamic resistance how? Look, this is a curve. And this is a curve. We are interested at this point, for example. We draw a tangent to the curve. And then for the tangent, we find the tangent beta slope. The slope 10 beta will be delta I d over delta V d. Delta I d over delta V d will be the conductance. So tangent beta show the conductance. So if to find the resistance, we have to find the reciprocal of the slope. Okay. Now 10 beta is here what? 
31 milli ampere minus 19 milli ampere there is a delta ed what is delta vd delta vd is 1.7 minus 1.4 so first of all find the n beta then take the reciprocal that will come out the dynamic resistance slope is equals to n beta so this is uh, this is the calculations and you find the value of the dynamic resistance but it is not very good method it is not very accurate because uh, uh, that we are changing the appreciable change delta v and delta i but actually for precision we to find the dynamic resistance with that differential differential of voltage with respect to the current okay at any specific point dv over di so another there is another method for finding the dynamic resistance we know the equation forward current equation this is a forward current then uh, reverse saturation current the out voltage thermal voltage eta is constant and depends upon the type of the semiconductor which we used now let it the temperature 20 degree celsius let at this temperature t becomes 20 273 plus 20 it is in kelvin and then we find the thermal voltage kt over e it comes out equals to this at this particular temperature and it is equals to for silicon now substituting all the values we get the forward current equals to this now we differentiate differentiating with respect to voltage what is the differential of this you know the differential of this the exponential factor remain as it is and constant factor comes you know in multiplication so 1.1 upon 0.05 into the whole factor the same but the same is again equals to if so dif or dv becomes you know what if upon 0.05 now you take the reciprocal of this for finding the dynamic resistance 0.05 or if now keep in mind that this is okay good equation directly you find dynamic resistance only substituting forward current but it is at a particular temperature 20 degree celsius and it is for silicon if you change the temperature change the type of semiconductor this equation will change now let for example we are interested what is dynamic resistance for this current 1 milli ampere at temperature 20 degree celsius 0.05 over 1 milli ampere and the this calculations comes out calculations gives 50 ohm so this dynamic resistance we measure directly using the equation at temperature 20 degrees celsius okay this is all about the difference between static and dynamic resistance only keep in mind static resistance is good when there are dc conditions and when there are changing condition or ac conditions we to find the dynamic resistance okay please thank you please subscribe my channel